The Patriots did the right thing, I think. They adopted Boston for its historical nature. Patriotism. Patriots. It's a no-brainer. If you're going to have a sports team in Boston, why not call them the Patriots? Red, white, and blue, also a given. I love the fact that the Patriots just went red. Bright, vibrant, fire engine red. Almost the most underused color in all of football. The Patriots' first helmet design was not a success. So in the first year, the Patriots had a tri-corner hat as their logo on the side of their helmet. But it was very hard for people to make out what it was. It was this sort of amorphous lump. But their next logo really resonated with the fans. Pat the Patriot. And I can remember as a young boy just smiling when I saw the Patriots snapping the football. That just looked like just this wonderful image. But the image has to be accompanied with success in the field. And those Patriots teams, they had a tough run in the 60s and 70s. Patriot Pat was replaced by the Flying Elvis as the color palette gained a new shade. They changed the helmet from white to silver. They changed the tone of the colors. They changed the dominant color from red to blue. It was complete makeover, extreme home makeover in New England. The new look carried through into the 21st century. With three Super Bowl victories during the decade, the Patriots created a Super Bowl dynasty. Red, white, and blue, they're not just colors, they're heritage.